So behind me is Mike's place, Mike Eichert. He's the person who's hosting me here in ADAC, which has been really nice. He smokes and drinks, but it's okay because uh, I have a place to stay and he's a nice guy and he's from Wisconsin and he has two dogs and three cats. So he bought this fourplex for 20,000 and he stays in only one of them. So he has three vacant ones and we're gonna go explore it today. So that's our adventure. So he lives on the far right, but we're gonna see the one on the right left side. So the grass here is pretty nice, dandelions, clover leaves, and pretty good quality grass. So this is 102C. So there's two doors for the winter time so air doesn't get into your house. Right after you enter, there's a bathroom to your left side along with a staircase that goes upstairs and the main living room here. On the right side, you have the kitchen and the dining room along with the solarium outside. The solarium is a good area to keep warm, but also enjoy the daylight and the sun in the summer. Here in the garage, which is split between the two units, upstairs we have a bathroom in the middle, along with the guest room here on the right side, which is a one bedroom upstairs, and following to the left would be the master bedroom, which is this room accompanied with its own private bathroom and two closets on either side. Now, as I was mentioning, these windows are all equipped with this protection device, which shields it from snow or any wind or debris that might come in. So now I'm in the other unit, and this one is more empty because it's not really used. There's all sorts of relics, like stones on the shelves over here, and coffee tables, and a nice view. So here in ADAC, there are definitely no housing shortages. There are plenty of houses going really cheap at $5,000 a unit, definitely a place to raise a family, no crime, no murders, nothing, and a nice view outside. And pretty good drinking water here. So opposed to the other two units, which this room was used as a bedroom, this one alternatively is used as an office. In the master bedroom, we have a bunch of books scattered around, which seems to be prevalent around here. So in the first unit, letter A, things are still a bit messy and disorganized with chaos. There's a huge big screen TV, but uniquely in this solarium, however, there's been so much mold, or not mold, but just wetness and dampness, that some moss started growing on the floor. Never seen this before. Well, it looks like I found some sort of note over here. I'm going to read it. It says, Hi, Paul. It's kind of faded, though. Hi, Paul. It was great hearing from you. You wrote very good letters. We did have a lot of fun together. It doesn't seem like I'll be able to go to ADAC because I work five days a week, plus I won't be able to take off. I would love to, though. You sounded good over the phone. I haven't seen Rick for a long time, which is good. He is such a liar. I thought he was my friend, but little did I know. He really hurt my feelings the last time I saw him, which truly turned me off. He had his nerve. He sure doesn't act married. Shame on him. I just don't believe in fooling around. Life is way too short to hurt anyone or get hurt. I love life too much. I am a terrible writer, so please forgive me. I hate to write. Paul, you take care of yourself and be as good as you are. Love you. You are my good friend. Thank you, Leah. So a couple mistakes there. Nothing special. So I climbed up to the mountain here. There's a small little iron piece up here, which I don't know what it is, but there's basically five different types of homes. There's these types of homes, then the brown flat type of house, then in the far distance we got different type, and of course my favorite over here is these brown, red, and blue roofs, roofed houses, which come as a fourplex. So this is the old school, both high school and middle school. It used to be a happening place in the 1980s, but right now it's desolate and pretty much broken. 
and no one fixes it up and trash and walls and glass everywhere. So in addition to the school this was also a shopping area and over here we got a old newspaper stand which only cost 25 cents for the daily paper and coming around here it's unlocked so you can take a look at how this works including some change at the bottom So all these barracks, office buildings, police stations, and the rest of them, including the church, are all abandoned. So today I'm going to enjoy my last day here, since I'm leaving tomorrow, and explore these places. So all these apartments just have leftover furniture. quiet here. The wind blows, the weather comes and goes, and these buildings still stand on forever. tour here and enjoying the solitude and serenity of this whole area looking at the sidewalks how they're kind of dilapidated with weeds growing everywhere I can hear my echo it's completely silent around here no heaters no generators nothing at all and I'm gonna continue to explore some of the more wilderness aspects of ADAC and enjoy the scenic mountains and hills and Oceanside and everything else that ADAC has to offer. So I came up here with my bike and I saw this cabin I was going to check out but it was incredible when I looked inside. So I thought I might find something interesting, you know a place to relax a little bit but as soon as I got inside I looked around the corner and this is what I found. A completely dilapidated cabin with moss growing on the floor, on the table, with a couple drips of water from the roof and I just could not believe it at all. There doesn't seem to be any restoration plans in sight nor would it be possible to restore this place. So basically the best option is probably to tear it down and build something completely new because everything is falling apart in this house 100 percent. And apparently it doesn't take long to get worse conditions as the last time they repaired this house was in 99 which is not that long ago. So taking a look at this makeshift kitchen it's completely overtaken by moss from the damp environment. Well I've decided to have my long awaited picnic. I got a oatmeal raisin, no eggs, no dairy cookie along with an organic gala apple and the nice misty weather of ADAC. I hear an airplane passing overhead. I wonder where it's coming from and I'm pretty sure it's going to Anchorage though. So now I'm checking out this double fenced barbed wire fully secured area where there seems to be bomb shelters and areas to store weapons. So I came up to the top of this roof and I'm going to take a look at that tower over there. Everything's pretty much abandoned and uh, not much to see and or find, but it's still interesting. So now I'm exploring the control tower in ADAC. And uh, pretty dilapidated also, but there's much more, more stuff inside that are still left, like papers and books and whatnot. So I'm gonna see through this door to see what's inside. Well, pretty much destroyed up here too. But from here you can have a good view of the whole airport. So now I understand why this tower should be torn down because there's pretty much nothing that's salvageable in there. It'd probably take as much as it costs to uh, renovate it as it would to build a new one. Plus no one's really here so it's not cost efficient or anything like that. So 
So many of these houses are old, dilapidated, unlocked, and crumbling apart. So it's uh, easy to get a house here, but I don't know how much it would cost to renovate it. So most of these houses are unlocked. You can basically walk into any of them and to take a look at them. So here's the playgrounds. And this house, for example, is totally abandoned. The front door is missing. You can see straight through to back and nothing really happens because no one's here. These houses are just getting worse and worse and soon they'll probably fall apart. So this is the other style of house that they have here. 